For this lesson, we're going to be going over De Morgan's Theorem. De Morgan's Theorem provides a mathematical verification of the equivalency of NAND gates and NOR gates. In short, we're actually going to be doing Boolean algebra equations that actually have NAND gates and NOR gates, and we're going to figure out how to actually simplify those down using De Morgan's Theorem. There's going to be a method that you're going to see us using examples called a chop and swap method, and we'll go on more in details later on. So why is it important to learn De Morgan's Theorem? All right, look at the equation in the center of the screen. A times B times C, not over the whole equation. Any normal person who would come up to this would go, oh, I would just go to a truth table and go, any of the A, B, and C variables that have zero, uh, if they're all zero, then I can actually put a one in the output. That is not correct. This would actually have to be chopped up using De Morgan's Theorem to create the truth table you see to the right. Just like in our previous lesson, we're going to continue to use the Boolean algebra rules with solving the equations. However, I'm going to throw a little extra tool in your toolbox, which will be the De Morgan's Theorem, which you'll see in the examples. If you're confused right now, no problem. The best way we're going to learn this is actually perform our practice problems as usual. So bear with me, and on the next example, you will see how we actually perform De Morgan's Theorem. All right, for this first example, let's jump to a relatively easy one. This one we have a plus B times C, and it's not over the whole equation. And once we're complete, we'll go ahead and fill out the truth table to our left and see what we can come up with. Now, per our methods earlier in the PowerPoint, we're going to use our chop and swap method. So let me go ahead and rewrite this. So it's A plus B times C. And this is not over the whole equation. Now. We can't go ahead and fill this out and say, all right, A plus B times C naught and start filling out. It doesn't work that way. I can't go, well, these two are not, so we can go ahead and fill out. No, we got to actually use our De Morgan's theorem and go ahead and come up with a complete and final equation. So chop and swap method. We're going to chop it right there between C and B plus A. It's going to come out to be A plus B and parentheses naught. And this is going to change the sign, so instead of multiplying, it's going to do the OR. So instead of the AND, you have an OR gate. So that's OR C. All right, so that was relatively simple. Now we need to do the same thing again, but with A plus B. So we're going to chop it in between those two letters. So it's going to be A. And again, it's multiplying, so it's B plus C. We're going to keep our knots there, and since we chopped it, a is a naught, B is a naught, or A, a naught, B naught. So we're going to have a final answer of this guy right here. So let's go ahead and fill this in our truth table. A naught, B naught, or C naught. Well, this has all the above, so that's a 1. A naught, B naught, or C, well, it has both A and B naught. And again, this is the ands. So A naught, B naught, well, can't use that one. Or C naught, we have the C naught. A naught, B naught, can't use that one. C naught, nope, so that's going to be a zero. A naught, B naught, nope. Or C naught, we have the C naught. A naught, B naught, no, nope. can't use that one. C naught, and can't use that one. So if you had to fill this truth table out from scratch, it would look as what you see here. So that's how you would actually use De Morgan's to have the equation of A plus B, C, and not over the equation to something you can actually translate to uh, gates or a truth table. So we'll go ahead and go to another problem and do something a little bit more trickier. We got ourselves a fun one right here. This one has three NAND gates, and we got actually four variables. Well, let's go ahead and work this down like we would any normal problem. We're going to go left to right and actually fill in our final equation, and then we'll see if we can use De Morgan's to work it down. So, inputs of A times B and a NAND gate would get would nah, excuse me would give you A B not. We'll do the same thing for this NAND gate down here. C D not. And again, we're going to multiply those two together. 
So we're going to have a final equation of A times B, not. I'll tell you what, I'll do parentheses, see if we can keep that clean. C, D, not. And then we have that bubble right there at the end. So the whole equation is not. All right, well, this would be tricky filling this out in the truth table or just trying to figure out what the outcome is if you're actually uh, putting various inputs in. So let's see if we can use the Morgans to work this guy down. So I'm going to bring this equation down here. We'll do A times B, not, and C, D, not, and not over the whole equation. Excuse the handwriting. Let's go ahead and do our chop and swap method. So we're going to chop it right there in the middle. We'll have A times B, not, not, plus, every time you chop it, you got to change signs. So it's multiplying, you got to do the uh, and in this case, or plus. And then C, D, not, not. And if we look to our rules to the right, rule nine, we have two nots cancel each other out, where two wrongs do make a right. So this would actually give you a final answer of A, B, plus C, D, because those would cancel each other out. Pretty simple one. So you have three NAND gates that pretty much equate to two ANDs and a single OR gate. So if you actually had to convert this down to the gates we practice in Boolean algebra, the, the lesson before this, this is pretty much what it would look like. All right. So that's our final answer. Let's go ahead and step it up a notch to the next one. All right, looks like we got ourselves a real fun one right here. All right, so we're gonna take this equation right here and we're gonna break it down as best we can, just like the others. So the first thing we'll do is rewrite it. A, C plus A, B plus A, B, C, not, not. And not all the way there. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to chop it right there so we can change our signs. So it's going to be A, C, not. That's going to be multiplied times A, B, not, plus A, not, B, not, C. And then what we're going to do is we're going to keep chopping it down. Chop it one more time. We're actually going to chop both of the same time. Make it easy on me. So it's going to be A plus C not not. Do the same thing on this one. A not plus B not plus A B not C. Okay. So all we do is just take this equation and we just expand it just a little bit. I'm going to try to get this in a little two-variable setup, and I'll show you how. So we're going to do A times A, A naught times A naught. That's going to be plus, and then A naught times B naught. So it's A naught times B naught plus, same thing, A naught times A naught, so it's a naught, C naught, it's going to be plus, and then C naught times B naught. And let's keep this in alphabetical order so it's easy to follow. And then I'll bring this guy down here so it's going to be plus A naught, B naught, C. Okay, so all I did was just chop this down just so I can keep in a little two variable setup here. It makes it easy on me. Well, one of the things I've noticed a pattern here. If you look at all of these guys right here, A naught, A naught, A naught, four of these have A naughts in them. So I have an idea. I want to go ahead and remove A naught from all four of these. So we're going to do this. I'm going to go A naught, parentheses. So if you take A naught out of this equation, it becomes a one. That's going to be plus. Same thing with this one. So the A naught of this variable, so it's going to become B naught plus C naught plus, and it's going to be this guy right here. 
So it's going to be B naught C, and then it's going to be plus, and all I do is bring that guy down here, B naught C naught. So all I do is just take the A out of this one, this one, this one, and this one. And this is just simple algebra. I haven't gone into the rules yet. Now let's go ahead and use a, a rule that's going to really simplify this down. Look at rule number two right here. A plus one equals one. I have one plus B naught plus C naught plus B naught C. So by using that rule, all of this becomes a one just by bringing all these down. So I have A naught times one plus B naught C naught. And of course, a naught times one, a times one equals a, so a naught times one equals a naught. And that's going to be plus b naught c naught. So that right there is our final answer. All right, let's do another problem. I say the best for last. We got ourselves a fun one right here. So as usual, let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to rewrite my problem. Hopefully it's going to be somewhat legible. Over time, my handwriting will get better. I don't know when, but it will. All right, as usual, I like to go for the biggest piece of meat. Just chop that guy right there. So we're going to go ahead and bring this guy down. Not, not. And since it's a OR gate, let's go ahead and change it to an AND gate. So multiply. So this is going to be A, B, plus C. Keep our knots all correct. Wherever you chop it, make sure you leave everything else the same as far as where the knot should be. All right, so, well, first I'm going to bring this guy down. He's going to be AC, because if you look to the right, rule nine, two knots make a right. So, parentheses. And let's chop them one more time. Let's chop them right there. So let's go A, B knot, and then knot over the whole thing. And this is going to be multiplied times C naught. Again, changing my signs. And I think we can chop them one more time. Let's chop them right there. So A, C, plus A, B. And that's not, not, times C naught. Now I keep rewriting these. I'm only doing one step at a time. That way you can see exactly what I'm doing. Not, I don't like to skip steps because when I go back and look at it, I go, how did I get there? All right. And of course, two wrongs do make a right. So let's say AC times A naught plus B because we got two knots, so they cancel each other out, times C naught. Now I think I need to make some room, so I'm going to move this up. Now I, have a th I think we have enough to get started. Let's go and multiply the AC times A naught plus B. So we're going to go A, A naught times C. I like to keep these in alphabetical order, same as usual. And then AC times B is ABC. That's pretty simple. And that's multiplied times C naught. Well, looking at the rules to the right here, let's see. I have an A times an A naught gives us a zero. All right, so let's bring that down zero times C plus ABC. And then C naught. It's all about practice. Well, if you look to the right here, A times a zero gives us a zero. So anytime you have an AND gate and there's a zero in one of the inputs, no matter what, that's got to be a zero output. So zero plus A, B, C. Obviously, C naught. Well, looks like we got zero plus A B C. Rule one: A plus zero equals A. So if you have an OR gate and one of the uh, inputs is a zero, eh, you're kind of relying on the other input to provide you with a high output. So that would be A B C, and that's times C naught. So. Let's go ahead and see if we can move this up one more time. So I'm going to move this over. All right, I'm going to rewrite it one more time. Let's go A, B, C, and then do C naught. So we actually have a simplified answer of 
It looks something like that. Looking at the rules to the right, again, rule number eight, a plus or a times a naught equals zero. Well, c times c naught equals zero, so it's actually a b times zero. Fortunately, looking at rule number three there, anytime you have an AND gate with a uh, input of zero, it's going to give you a final answer of zero. A, B times zero. So if you actually created this circuit, your output, no matter what you would do, would be a zero output or a low output. All right, I think our, we got our hands dirty enough for De Morgan's. Let's go ahead and go to something a little bit more fun and do combination logic.